coach gave up a lot of points and loss in, in San Antonio. What did you guys get away from defensively in that game once you've gone back and looked at the film? Well, I just think we just, you know, uh, a lot of times where we've been really good defensively is pressuring people and, and you know, turning them over. Uh, and so when it got late, um, they made some, some big plays and uh, we did, our rotation and the way that we, we were guarding and uh, changing up our defenses, we just, uh, you know, it was, I think, a half a second late at times. And, uh, you know, they got some 50-50 balls that we got our hands on and they ended up getting them and scoring a couple of times. And so I think that was, that was it. Kayla Smith had a big uh, weekend down there at the UTEP and then like 17 points at UTSA. Just how big have, were her contributions this weekend and how she sort of grown in this different role for her this year? No, I think it, it was huge for us. Uh, you know, the, the biggest thing that we've always been able to do is make open shots. That's one thing that we've always done since I feel like the staff and I have been here. And, uh, you know, Kayla uh, practices hard, does everything. And, uh, well, she was huge for us uh, in the UTEP game. You know, Kendall didn't score in that first half. And, you know, the reason why is because everybody else was scoring. And, right. You know, and, and Kayla was one of those those big reasons why we did so well. Uh, and then, you know, in UTSA, you know, she just came off the bench and continued to do the same thing. So uh, that's what we expect. We expect uh, our bench to be able to give us some quality minutes with a lot of things that we need for us to be successful. And as you get deeper into the conference, you have to have that. Louisiana Tech, you know, one of the better shooting teams in the conference, too. Just your thoughts on this team coming in? Well, I think uh, shooting in different ways. They're very athletic. Uh, you know, Anthony can get to the basket, and uh, she can shoot the three. She can shoot the pull up. Uh, and then, you know, they, they have uh, LeBlanc that's uh, very, very athletic. And, I um, mean, she's averaging almost 10 rebounds in a double-double. So, uh, you know, they have kids that can shoot the three, and they're going to press, I think. And the thing that they do, they're, they're going to – zone, they zone most of the time, but they're very active, get their hands on a lot of balls in the passing lanes. And uh, so we're going to have to take care of the basketball and make sure that we're – uh, getting the shots that we need to, getting the ball reversed, and uh, they'll press some too, and making sure we're taking care of the ball. You mentioned their zone and Southern Miss zone yep. as well with their defense. So th these teams that you're playing are, are forcing you to shoot the ball, I mean, in, in different situations instead of maybe running or taking it to the rim. They're forcing you to shoot now, right? Well, you know, Southern Miss, that's what they always do. They've always played that, and uh, it's a new ca new coach at La Tech. So, you know, when you, you got to uh, cater to what you have as, as a team and what helps make you successful. So I think that's the most important thing. Uh, you know, shooting the basketball, I, I, you know, it's all uh, about confidence and the things that you do. And I, I know our, our players have that confidence. And, you know, we've just been in a stretch here. You know, we, we're going to continue to keep playing the way we are. We've been in the gym. We've been working. And, and that's what we talk to our players about. Michelle, I know you like this group a lot. I know you want to win every game of the season. But what I've noticed is this group, when you guys have gotten beat, you come back strong. And, and, and does that say a lot about the resiliency of this group? Well, it definitely does. It says a lot about, and it's uh, hopeful, very hopeful that uh, as a staff, we get them back in the gym and get them back focused and, and focus on the things we need to to get better. Uh, you know, I think the most important that, uh, thing that everyone understands is like you just, it's a long season. Uh, and it would be awesome if we could win every game. But, uh, you know, these are 18, 19, 20-year-old uh, young ladies who are working every day to try to be the best they can be. And so our job as a staff is to make sure we put them in that best position so we can keep getting better. Uh, you know, we hit February 1st here coming up, and we just want to continue to be the best that we can be. And that's what we talk about uh, to our team all the time. Going back to the bench and talking about having players like Kayla or other players like uh, JC come on, just give you a scoring boost anytime. Is this maybe one of the most balanced teams that you've had here? And then how does that balance play into just being able to call anybody off and help you all out there? Well, I think, uh, you know, we still have, they're still young, uh, you know, but I think we do have a lot of talent. I think that's, uh, you know, a lot of the ways that we've been able to win in certain situations, different people have stepped up at different times. Uh, you know, as a coach, what you hope for is some consistency where you can know exactly what you're going to get. One thing I do know is that I'm very com comfortable and confident in every kid that I put uh, on the floor and every team that put, every uh, player that plays on this team. And so uh, it's just on any given night and any, any given day, you just got to be ready because you don't know how the defense is going to play, if your ball is falling compared to someone else's.